Hi guys, today I'm reviewing this Yonanus machine. What this does is make soft serve from frozen fruit. It's supposed to make healthier desserts. The unit measures 14 inches tall, 6.5 inches wide, and 6.5 inches deep. I'll show you how to assemble the parts. This is the bottom cap. The gasket goes on top of the cap. It does say this side up on the gasket, so it's easy to figure out. Just press it down. Press the blade cone into the hole. Screw the bottom cap onto the chute and blade cover. Then you want to put the blade chute assembly on the base. There's a lock and unlock picture on the base. Just turn it to lock. This is the plunger that you use to push food down the chute. The cone has these little steel blades and that's what breaks down the fruit. The on-off button is on the side of the machine. The electrical cord is about 30 inches long. It's a sleek looking machine and doesn't take up much space on your countertop. Comes with an instruction manual and a healthy dessert book. All the desserts need to be made with frozen fruit. And you need to freeze your fruit for at least 24 hours. There are a lot of recipes in this book using frozen fruit mixed with cookies for cookies and cream, chocolate chips for chocolate raspberry. You can use nuts to make this pistachio recipe, mixed berry pie with a chocolate crust. Most of the recipes use frozen bananas, but there are a few where you don't need bananas, like the strawberry pineapple sorbet and tropical sorbet, where you're just using frozen mangoes, pineapples, and strawberries. With all the recipes using bananas, what you do is insert the banana first, then you insert the fruit, and then end with the bananas. For the bananas, it's best to use very ripe bananas with some brown spots because they're much sweeter. I don't like to eat overripe bananas, and of course I don't wanna waste them, so I always put them in a zip bag and put it in the freezer. Before putting the frozen fruit in the machine, you do have to thaw it a little bit. It's recommended for seven to 10 minutes. Today's a very warm day. I'm gonna thaw these for about five minutes and then process it in the Yonanas. I'll use bananas and sliced frozen strawberries. This unit is made by the Dole Company. As you may know, they sell a lot of fresh and frozen fruit. So this is a great invention for them to sell a lot of their frozen fruit. The unit is very simple to use. Press the on off button on the side to on. Put your frozen food into the chute, push it down with the plunger, and the soft serve will come out through the opening. So make sure to put a plate or a bowl under the opening to catch it. Since the bottom is curved, it's probably best to use a bowl so the soft serve doesn't go all over the place. My bananas and strawberries have thawed a little bit and now we'll start processing. I'll start with a banana, then some strawberries and finish with a banana. Turn the machine on. You can see the soft serve. The soft serve looks smooth. Now you can just mix this up. See the banana first and the strawberry and at the end you got the pink with the mix of the banana and the strawberry. Let me just taste this. It's really tasty. You have a few chunks of the strawberry. It is processed but tiny little bits of strawberry in there. The banana is so good. It's so sweet, it just tastes like really good banana ice cream. So this makes a really healthy dessert and I could really eat this instead of ice cream. It's really tasty. The machine is a little bit loud. Turn to unlock.
unscrew the cap. If you want to give this Yunnan as a try, I've put a link in the description below. Here's the cone. And there is some fruit here. You're just going to have to scrape that out. A couple of tablespoons of strawberries and banana. A little bit on the plunger. You can rinse all the parts with warm soapy water. It's also dishwasher safe. The base can be wiped down with a damp cloth. It's easy just to finish the soft serve I made just now. If you want to make a larger quantity, you can always freeze it for later. I just washed all the parts and it was very easy. I just rinsed everything off with some water. The only annoying part is pulling the gasket off the cap. That's a little hard sometimes, but it cleaned really well and very quickly. I'll dry everything and we'll process some banana and peanut butter cups. I'm going to use snack size Reese's. These are the very small ones, three of them, and I've just cut them into quarters. These were in the fridge. I just left them out for two minutes. I'll put a banana in followed by all of the Reese's and finish with another banana. So this is not a healthy dessert option, but I'm sure it's gonna be tasty. I'm just gonna go ahead and taste it. It's amazing. Tastes like peanut butter and banana ice cream. The peanut butter cup was broken down, but it's crumbly, it's not completely smooth. You can leave the peanut butter cup outside the fridge for longer and it might make it smoother. But I think because it's crumbly, it adds more texture to the soft serve and makes it taste more like peanut butter banana ice cream. So this Yonanas can make healthy and not so healthy desserts. This is not going in the freezer, it's definitely one serving for me. There's about a tablespoon or two of the peanut butter banana mixture in here. I'm definitely scooping that out and eating it because it's just too good. So although this does one thing, processed frozen fruits, it's still a pretty good option for those who are trying to eat healthier. If you want to have a cold, smooth, sweet, soft serve that's healthy using just fruit, then this is a great option. The key to getting really good results is using overripe bananas. That makes your dessert very sweet naturally. And it also gives the dessert a very smooth consistency that makes it taste almost like ice cream. For those who are not on a diet or not trying to lose weight, you can of course add chocolate, chocolate chips, candy, like the Reese's peanut butter cup I used, cookies, and they can all be mixed into the frozen banana. And I think kids would really enjoy that. As always, I hope this review was useful. If you want to give this Yunnan as a try, I've put a link in the description below. Share this video and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.